Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you a quick video tutorial on how to create a clickable image canvas. So that when you go in here, you see these different areas of the canvas here. I can click on any one of these and they will take me to different places within Saba. That one will take me to these Concur courses. These are some search results here. I've got one uh, set up for password and secret questions. I basically have just tried to create some really helpful links for our users and put them right here on the canvas. And this is actually really easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do this in about 10 minutes or less. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is just go to Google and search for online image map. And for me, it's the first thing that comes up. You want this image-map.net. Click on that and then click on select image from my PC. And I'm going to grab one of my uh, final concepts here for my canvas. Open that up. Scroll down. Okay, and then each one of these uh, lines here, each one of these sections is going to be a different link out of this image. I'm, I'm actually going to do several here. I'm going to do uh, seven. So I'll start with the first one. All you got to do is go in here and click. And then click again to define your rectangle. I'm just going to do rectangles because they're the easiest. You can actually do poly or circle option here, but I like rectangles are, are nice, straightforward. So um, then you can just put in what this links to. So for this getting started with Thrive, I'm going to link to a course. So you can link to anything in your LMS um, that has a distinct URL up here. So I'll highlight that, hit Control C to copy it and then come back to my image map and then control V to paste title I'm just gonna put the same thing getting started with Thrive and then target uh, I typically either select self or blank blank will open in a new browser window and self will open in the same browser window uh, so I'll go ahead and put self on that one it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference it's personal preference and then add a new area another rectangle and if you don't click in the right place you can actually drag this around to get it exactly where you want it okay now this is a actually a search result so I've searched for concur and found all these courses so I want to link to that Click up here. I'm going to control C again to copy that. Go back over here and paste. Okay, add a new area. I'll just keep going like this. Okay, so I've selected all these rectangular areas and added in the links, and then I'll click on Show Me the Code. So this has generated some code for me that I can copy and paste into uh, my canvas. So I'm in, actually in production right now, and I've created a, a canvas area. I just created a, a hidden group and made it a default group so I could build a canvas here. And uh, I'm going to build it here, and then I'm going to copy and paste the code somewhere else. So I click on Edit Canvas, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and upload my image. 
And now the slightly scary part, I'm going to click over on this little button here that says source code. We're actually going to jump over into the HTML code. Now this is the code for my image. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get a little space here, and and just highlight this. Control C again to copy it. Come over here and then paste. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to go up here where it says image source. I'm going to grab right in there inside that first quotation and I'm going to highlight all of this till I get to this second quotation. Okay, now I'm, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the code, uh, the location for the image that I just uploaded to Saba. I'm going to control C on that now I'm going to come down here to my map and where it says image source I need to replace this control V with the one I just uploaded to Saba so basically now I have here's the location for the image I just uploaded to Saba and then here's the map I created on the other side now a couple little things I have to do here real quick And it's just something I have to do. I have to make sure this is centered. Sorry. I know nobody likes looking at code. And now let's save, see how that looks. All right. So there's my new canvas. You'll see now when I hover over it, I get this little, this is the, the actual name I entered in. And if I click on one of these, it's going to take me where I'm supposed to go. So there you go. I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments.